Okay, I think we've got everything ready for this final. Got my coaching jersey on, and it's a little bit wet outside, but that will be fine. So I think we're good to go. Oh, what's this message? Oh, what? The, how do you get a waterlogged pitch for a final? Amateur hour. Hello everyone and welcome back to Husavik Heroes here on Sean Does FM. I hope you are doing well and today in episode 11 we have our first cup final and it's not just any cup final, the full on league cup final we take on opposition in the same tier as us in the second division in Fuel Near. So if you're looking forward to that then do remember to go down below, leave a thumbs up on the video and if you haven't done so already and are enjoying the series here on the channel also consider hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on as well. It is greatly appreciated, but we had a little bit of a false start, as you would have seen from the intro. Waterlog pitch has put this game back a few days from a midweek game to a Saturday game, but we are about to crack in to this League Cup final. There has not been much happening since yesterday's episode, the semi-final, which if you missed, I'll leave a link to above my head in the top right corner so we're pretty much just going to crack straight into this the only thing that I will bring up that I got wrong in yesterday's episode is the prize money for this because that's actually going to be quite important for the club to try and get ourselves out of that bit of a financial hole that we currently find ourselves in I think I said it was 40k for the winner 20k for the runner-up I got that wrong I think that's the situation in the regular Icelandic cup as well as getting a European place for winning that competition this one there is no European place for what I can tell but it is £20,000 for the winner, £10,000 for the loser. So it wouldn't help us out as much as winning the Icelandic Cup for Longwood, but it would still help us out nonetheless getting a good payday out of our good run in this competition to try and help us out with this £70,000 debt that we somehow have, despite me staying within our wage and transfer budget so far throughout this save. But the team is looking exactly like it did in yesterday's episode, so we'll come back shortly again from the Husavika Vola for this League Cup final against Fjolnir. And it looks like the wet weather has cleared from the Husavika Vola as we show you guys the team sheets. Our team looking exactly like it did for the semi final yesterday in a lovely day in Husavik. There is the Fjolnir team. They really did scrape their way through the group stage looking at that. Four draws prior to their semi-final win, albeit that was on penalties as well, so it might be the wrong way around, but we certainly come into this game in a lot better form, and hopefully we can pick up this League Cup. Seven minutes gone, and we have the first highlight of the game in our favour. It is a free kick. We are in our green with the white shorts and Fjolnir in the yellow tops and blue shorts, and we get that ball out to our left back again. Looking dangerous early block shot. Forster Dordovic! Vukan Dordovic gets his first goal for the club. And after only seven minutes, we keep this fantastic League Cup run going. And we are 1-0 up in the final at home. Looks like an absolute bumper crowd has turned up. Bet the Icelandic authorities are absolutely stoked that we're hosting the final. But it's a little bit messy at the back. Olgerson's shot gets blocked. It falls to Dordovic coming in from the right-hand side. And we go 1-0 up nice and early. And shortly off the back of that, we do have a throw in Lili Mossa. Back out to Effiong. Lilimosa again. Trubia. Nice short passing from us in the final third. Baldus on squares it. It is a little bit messy, but the block shot falls to their goalkeeper. Good start. 1-0 up. And now we have yet another corner here. So putting a lot of pressure on these guys early. We try and get our center back to run onto that. And leads on with an absolute stunner. From well outside the box. Drills that very much like Tiago when I'm filming this this morning. In the Champions League, Dordovic, I think he was trying to pick out Zevnarov as well as try and get out of my mouth, but it falls to Ledson, and what a low-driven finish that is. And after only 12 minutes, it is 2-0 Volsinger in the League Cup final. 20 minutes gone, and it looks like it might be another highlight in our favour here as we do have a throw in Ledson, who is looking like he's going to have an absolute blinder. What a ball that was for Chlubia, but he puts it wide. Still 2-0. 
and up to the 24 minute mark now. A lot of highlights in our favor early. Looks like an instant replay as Ledson this time takes the shot on himself, puts it over the bar. He is looking very threatening and it remains 2-0 after 25 minutes. But we are all over Fjolnir in this final and Ledson is looking very dangerous out on that left hand side. It's a header for Dordovic. Puts it wide, still only 2-0, but we are absolutely battering Fjolnir halfway through the first half. And that is half time in this League Cup final. Very eventful first part of that half. Not as eventful in the second part of it, but we are absolutely dominating them. 17 shots, 8 on target. They have only the one shot which was not on target. We should probably be freeing up that chance to Trubia in particular. was a very good one, but very happy with how things are going 2-0 at halftime in this League Cup final. Hopefully we can keep this up and win our first major trophy here at Volsunga. 58 minutes gone and we have a corner to start the second half. It falls to a player, it gets a little bit poked towards the goal and somehow doesn't end up in the back of the net. So they get away with one there just a little bit. Do fuel near to start off the second half. They can get an early goal back here. They are certainly still in this, albeit we are coming up to the hour mark, but it was a little bit messy at the back there from that corner, but does remain 2-0. Up to the 71 minute mark now, still 2-0. We're looking quite comfortable, but we're going to make one change. One Lozano can come on for Spasic, only on a 6.5 rating, so we'll see what one Lozano can do, see if he can get us a goal, that which pretty much seal our final win. 2-0 up with only 20 minutes left. And shortly off the back of that substitution, we are on the attack again down the left-hand side through Papaziki, who makes his way down the left wing, puts the ball in there, trying to pick out Dordovic again, but it is headed clear, albeit Effiong is there to tidy things up. But there is only one team looking threatening in this game, and that should be the goal that seals the League Cup final for us, and this should be our first big trophy at Volsunga as Leedson picks up a double. He is pulling the strings like a tampon thief out there. He has been utterly superb today. Here's the young Brazilian. Wonderful ball that time from Effiong. It's a simple stab home into the roof of the net. And with only 17 minutes to go, we are 3-0 up. And it's looking very good for us. We'll make a change as Dordovic is down to a red heart. So Nikola Zuk can come on for him. but in a very good position with only 16 minutes to go in this cup final, 3-0 up. And up to the 83 minute mark now, time for us to make our last substitution. Papaziki is down to a red heart, having a good game, but Song can come on for him, but with only seven minutes left, looking very good for us, still 3-0 up. And 88 minutes gone, very close to full time in this League Cup final, still 3-0 up, and we do get possession back from that Fjolnir goal kick, and we just look to consolidate possession maybe create one more chance here as we look to hang on, which we should be doing, to win our first big trophy here at Volsinger to back up our two-deal trophy last season. This is a much bigger trophy as we have had to take on top division teams, and we have done very well against them to get to this point, and we are battering a team who are expected to be right in the promotion hunt in the second division this season, so we're looking quite good for the upcoming season. Nice ball there for Nicola Zuc. Very good save that time from the Fjolnir goalkeeper. Olgerson does get possession back for us. We'll see if we can create anything else from that chance. We can't, but it is all over. Red Rover, and we are the League Cup Deal Double Car champions in our first season in this competition. We had an excellent run, only dropping points in that last group stage game when it didn't count beat a lot of good teams in the division above before making our way through to this final where we absolutely battered Fjolnir and we pick up our first big trophy of this save this time in front of our home crowd which was absolutely massive no doubt at the 2000 capacity Pacifica Vola but that is a magic night to surpass all others so far in this save as we pick up our first trophy of real significance in this save, and you look at the stats, they barely fired a shot, did Fjolnir, and that is a very useful £20,000 in the kitty, but a very good performance as we win the League Cup here in our second season at Volslinger. And back in the inbox after becoming the champions of the League Cup here in Iceland, the first time that we have won it after reaching the final for the first time in the 95-year history of the club in game so that is a massive moment 
in a final between two teams who were in the division below the top tier. Everyone very happy with us about that. We get the £20,000, which is going to be quite useful, it is fair to say, and that should get our manager rating back up to where it was as well. So that is a very useful win. Ledson was absolutely superb in that game with his two goals. Did a lot of good things. Did the young Brazilian winger looking like a player who could be very useful for us over the next few years of this save. And we pick up our first major trophy of the save as well. But that will do it for this pre-season tournament. It's a little bit of a funny one. We are now waiting Till about another month until we kick off the league season and that's what we're going to get into over the weekend off camera anyway and we'll come back having played a few games in the league albeit I think we are pretty heavy favourites we should be anyway if we're not to be getting our way out of the second division based on our league cup when it is fair to say so I think what we might do early on in the second season of this save is focus on the full Icelandic cup the Molka Bikarin and see if we can go back to back in the Cups. Obviously, we have a quite strong team compared to what we have last season. And if we can do well in that competition, the prize that awaits us is £40,000. That would be quite useful as well as a Conference League qualifier spot for next season. That could be very useful for us. Would be a bit weird qualifying for the Conference League while we are still in the second tier here in Iceland. And we'll probably have a few more tougher matchups in that competition as well. But if we can win that league cup, there is no reason for us to think that we are not in with a good chance of winning the full-on Icelandic Cup as well. So I think we'll focus on that competition, at least until we go out of it. And off the back of that, we can focus on the league. But based on what we did pre-season in that league cup, I suspect we're going to be pretty comfortable in getting promoted from this league, even though we are only ranked about fifth favourites for the competition. We'll just go back and double check heading into the start of the season. Yep, still fifth favourites, despite beating most of the teams above us throughout that League Cup run, but looking quite promising for the second season here at Volsinger. Could become quite a trophy-laden one if we can keep up this form that we have had nice and early in the season, and that is without our dynamics being that great either. So this team is only going to improve. We could be in for a very good season in the second tier here at Volsunga in this Icelandic Build a Nation Challenge. And when we come back for the next episode, as we would have got through the first full season of Champions League, by the time we get back for the next episode, we'll also have a look at the coefficients and see how we're tracking as a nation in that as well as we haven't really had to do that so far with the fact that we did start the save in 2021 and we do need to wait a little while with the way that the Icelandic season does fall against most other European seasons. Ours kicks off more or less when most others do end. So we'll give a bit of a general Builder Nation update in the next episode as well as well as that first game for us in the Icelandic Cup. But if you did enjoy today's episode picking up the League Cup here over Fjolnir, then do remember to go down below, leave a thumbs up, on the video and if you are enjoying the series also remember to hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on as well and until i see you for the start of the full-on icelandic cup and a bit of an update on the builder nation and how we're tracking in this one deal on monday thank you very much for watching keep on keeping on and i'll see you then cheers